and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter into the cage. From Bristol, Chris Kingpin Sterling! And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent from Brazil, now fighting out of Brighton, Jeffrey Almeida! Gentlemen, Shock and Over present 350 rounds in the amateur mixed martial arts featherweight division. And in the red corner, the record of three wins and three defeats. Winning at 145.4 pounds. Representing Impact MMA in Bristol, Chris the Kingpin Sterling. And his opponent final in the blue corner, undefeated with a record of two wins and no losses. Weighing in at 144.2 pounds, representing Eva Maciel BJJ from Brazil, now fighting out of Brighton, Jeffrey! Amazing! You're going to charge the action, Mr. Andy Nickel. Featherweight action on deck. Referee Andy Nichols about to get this one underway. Three three-minute rounds if they need them. Chris the Kingpin Sterling in the red, white, and black. Jeffrey Almeida in the solid black trunks. Almeida immediately setting out his stall to get the takedown here. Yeah, Almeida very aggressive. Went for the takedown but got reversed. Um, but he does have a very good guard. You've seen him fight before. His jiu-jitsu is very good. Got to be careful of that sweep there. Almeida takes the ankles, looks to fight back to his feet. Nice takedown from Almeida. Oh, Sterling's given his back already. This is a dangerous position, Colin. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it, 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 he really needs to change. Go back to his back. Almeida looking for an arm triangle. But not quite got it. Now full mount. 
I made it happy to strike, but don't be surprised if you see a submission come off of the from the strikes. Yeah, really kicking in with these strikes. Referee taking a close look at this one. Not hugely damaging shots, but Almeida is being relentless on the ground. Just warning Almeida about the hammer fist to the back of the head there. Oh, he's flattened this man out. Yeah. Sterling, all defense at this point, Colin. Yeah, so, I mean, sometimes it, the, the shots don't have to be amazing heavy shots. They just need to be enough to open up um, the submissions. And at the moment, you know, what Almeida is doing is he's smothering his opponent. He's making life very difficult. Everywhere he turns, he's going to get punched. He gives his back, it gets taken. You know, he gives up the mount, it gets taken. So he's doing a great job at the moment. Absolutely no respite whatsoever for Chris Sterling here. The kingpin needs to get to work. And perhaps quite wisely, he steps off, looks to throw some strikes. But instantly, Almeida back in on the single leg. Looking for an ankle pick there, now back to the single. He's changing his entries here. Yes, Sterling, uh, Sterling did well to get to, to, to get out of that. Now he's back on his back again. Absolutely no doubt left in anyone's mind as to how Jeffrey Almeida wants to play this game. Looks to be a little bit high on the back there and ends up with Sterling in his full guard. Yeah, Almeida's jiu-jitsu is looking very slick. The only thing is, I think he gets a little bit too greedy sometimes. Instead of uh, getting the position um, and then attacking the sub, you know, he, he goes for it and then he ends up in a, in a, uh, a position he doesn't necessarily want to be in. Um, at the moment, he's on his back. And that's a result of him going for the choke maybe a little bit too early. But he's, he's content from fighting from his back as well. So, you know, it doesn't, really, it doesn't seem to matter to him. Now, I'm clearly very confident when the fight is on the floor and, and perhaps, as you say, Colin, willing to sacrifice in certain positions. But if you're in the corner of Chris Sterling now, Colin, what's the, what's the advice you're going to give to this young man in terms of changing this thing in round two? Uh, well, you know, I'd be say he's got to avoid being taken down again because, um, well, you know, it's clear that Almeida's very good on the ground and he's, he's willing to go for broke on the ground. So I would, if I was a coach, I'd be saying, look, Okay, we need to sprawl, 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 um, strike and sprawl basically, and try and try and dictate the fight that way. Have control of, of of the center of the cage and go from there. I mean, there were a few good moments from Sterling in that in that in that round. It wasn't all Almeida, but yeah, he needs to not be taken down. Let's see if Chris Sterling can change the game in round two. Jeffrey Almeida. You know he's going to be looking for, oh. well, that early takedown, <laughs> nope, spinning wheel kick, why not? Everyone else has. Seems to be the fashion. Already in on the takedown against the cage is Almeida, sucks the hips out from under Sterling. And Sterling in a bad spot early here already. Almeida on his back. Yeah, he's got to be really careful giving up his back like that because he can do it, you know, one or two times and he might get away with it, but the more he does it, the more risk they'll be of getting uh, caught with a rear naked choke. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful transition. He's got that extended. Needs to get that arm straightened out. Oh, and he does briefly. Oh. Sterling able to survive. Oh, wow. He, he did well there. He did well there. Sterling did very well there. Phenomenal stuff from Sterling. Going to be wary of the triangle as well now. And the belly down armbar. Very nice jiu-jitsu from, from Almeida. Almeida oh. being absolutely oh. relentless here. Oh. And that's a nasty angle. How is Sterling not submitting here? The, uh, the angle was just off. Oh, that is absolutely atrocious. Oh, man. Those of you of a weak disposition, look away now. Any of you ever had the Stretch Armstrong action figure? I think it may have been modelled 
Both Chris Sterling. Mate, that a stern stuff is the kingpin. Absolutely crazy. That was a full armbar, full, full extension. He was not tapping from that. I wanted to tap for him. I'd have been tapping like Michael Flatley <laughs> if I was in that one. Gruesome scenes here at Shock and Awe, 26. Fair play, man, fair play. Sterling, very tough character. Absolutely. You've got to wonder, isn't this now maybe taking a bit of the wind out of Jeffrey Almeida's sails? Man, if you, if, you, if you throw everything you have at somebody and they're still, you know, it doesn't work and they're still coming forward, it's definitely gonna, gonna you know, have a mental effect. And the team from Impact MMA just willing Sterling on. They want him throwing as many shots as he can. And Sterling's very good from the top. You know, he, he's, he's defending well, um, but he's very good from the top. He's, he's, he's throwing the strikes where he can, squaring up the hips a lot. He has to watch his arms though. You can see Almeida jockeying and moving his hips. See there, look, this is where it's all good from finish. Sterling. Good finish, come on. And Chris Sterling, very much still in this fight. Wow. And you've got to wonder, is that arm jacked up? Is it maybe it's something he'll feel in the morning more than he'll feel tonight? Yeah, he's got some rubber. He's got some rubber in them limbs. But all of a sudden, this is a very, very compelling third round. Sterling, you've got to think down on the scorecards from round one and two, but as we said, he's taken pretty much everything that Jeffrey Almeida has been able to throw at him. And you've got to wonder, has the wind been taken out of the sails of Almeida? He's looking perhaps the slightly more tired of the two over in that corner and you can't blame him, the work rate that he's, he's put on there in these first two frames. This could be a case of Chris Sterling going for broke here in the third round and stealing this fight. Well, Sterling's uh, weathered the storm. I mean, Almeida's thrown the, you know, the best he's got at him. He's managed to escape some, some tight submissions. Um, you know, Sterling's confidence has got to go up. Uh, but, you know, I really like Almeida's style, you know, he comes, he gives it 100%, he doesn't worry about getting gassed, he just comes out 100% and gives it everything that he's got. And I really like that. It makes for a great fight. Sterling looking very keen to get down to it in the third round. Almeida closing the distance instantly, looking to trip his man to the mat early. And whether he can get this one to the ground or not will likely be the difference as to who get their hands raised. If Sterling can stay on his feet and start to put the hammer down, it could be a very, very bad spot for Almeida to be in. Nice knees here, targeting the body from Sterling. Oh, nice from Sterling, very nice. Little, little foot sweep, little trip there. Now he's on top again. Uh, and it, and if, if he can avoid the submissions, he's actually doing quite well from the top previously. Um, but we have a dangerous jiu-jitsu guard game of, of, of Almeida. That's interesting now. We've got the corner of Almeida asking him to get up and the corner of Sterling wanting and to keep this sort of position. Yeah. Oh, Sterling briefly looking for the neck there. Tried to fire up a knee, didn't find a connection for it. Oh, oh nice beautiful reversal. reversal from Sterling. This is fantastic stuff. Really good, I like that. I like that a lot. Minute and a half. And it seems that Almeida might just be wilting a little bit here, Colin. He's, he's slowing down, he's definitely slowing down. He, he put so much into into the um, the first round, yeah. He, he, you know, and he, and he went for the armbar. He didn't quite get the armbar. Um, he, he, you know, I don't know how Sterling got out of that, but he but he did. And look at him now. You know, he's on top and he's grounding and pounding away. Um, great job. Less than a minute left to play with in this featherweight contest. You know, we've got a featherweight amateur title coming up in a few moments' time, and you've got to say the winner of this one has certainly set out their stall for a future title opportunity. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, these got, this, this could easily be a pro fight. Easily. 
I mean, these, these amateurs are, are, are really coming along really, really good. Final 20 seconds of the round. Sterling firmly in the driver's seat in the third, third frame. Let's see if you can get the big finish. You've got to be wary of the elbow, though. <laughs> Jeffrey Almeida not leaving anything the chance, snapping on an armbar in the final eight seconds of the contest. Wow. And what a back and forth affair that was. A real tale of two cities here in Portsmouth. Jeffrey Almeida dominating with his jiu-jitsu game for the first couple of rounds, or the first round and a half rather. Chris Sterling staying heavy on top with pressure and strikes towards the second half of the fight. It'll be very interesting to see how our judges mark this one down. But Alex Box and Nordin Najal contesting the 145 pound amateur title later on this evening. You kind of think both those men are going to have an eye on both of these men here tonight. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. I'd have a very close eye. I, I'd happily watch these guys fight any any time. You know, I, I look forward to seeing what they do in the future. R really nice fight, and I, I enjoyed that a lot. Three rounds of action we've had to go to the judges' scorecards. The judges score about 29-28, 29-28 and 30-27. All three in favour of your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Chetri! Amazing! And let you be run up Chris Sterling. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to tonight's main card, we're going to take a short five minute refreshment break. So do what you've got to do, and I'll be back in five minutes' time for tonight's title fights and professional contests.